Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing, what are we in? Oh yes, May empties. <laughs> Can't keep track of the months anymore. When you're in quarantine for over a year, you kind of lose track of time. Um, so just so you know, these are May empties. I say this every month and I mean it every time I say it. I'm so happy I was able to finish products because it gives me a sense of accomplishment in my life. Don't judge me. If you're a beauty lover, you know. So with that said, I'm going to get started. Ooh. I'm going to tell you guys what I think of the stuff that I finished this month and we're going to move on. Um, so first off, I have makeup wipes. Now these are the Life brand 3-in-1 facial cleansing wipes. You get 56 pre-moistened towelettes. This could be used for cleansing, toning, and removing. So it's like a three-in-one type of deal. Um, I love these. These are from Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. You get 56 wipes and they are way cheaper than Neutrogena. They are very hydrating and moisturizing. They're not dry at all. Um, I've never had an issue with these. I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase and I stopped buying Neutrogena wipes unless they were like a really good deal for that reason alone because of the price. I've also stopped buying Costco wipes because I don't know, I no longer have a Costco membership. So um, when I run out of my cotton rounds, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. But anyways, these are great. Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada, fantastic brand. Um, they're very great, easy to use and cost effective um, for the amount that you're getting. So I'm going to repurchase and have repurchased already. Ah, sticking on the wipe train, baby wipes. I use these for everything. I use them to, you know, freshen up in between my legs. I use them to wipe off swatches on my arms. I use to, I use them to correct makeup corrections if I have any. Um, I even use them to help um, just like wipe my hands if they're dirty from like stuff on them. Not to antibacterialize, but mainly to wipe stuff off if there's like, you know, like a eye makeup residue on them or something. I use them for that too. Um, I even use them to, uh, what's the word? Wipe down my counter for makeup if, 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 I, if there's any like fallout or stuff. They're, they're multi-purpose, I love these. We'll continue to repurchase. Um, let's see here. Again, I have the Travel Kirkland wipes. These are the last, I think I have one more Travel Kirkland wipe package and then that's it for what I have for uh, for Kirkland Costco wipes. I'm um, trying to use these up and then I won't be buying them again just because I find that they dry out super fast. You get like a, a full box load full from Costco when you buy them from there. And like it takes time to go through them because there are over like 200 wipes I think you get for a great deal. But the amount of time it takes to get through them, by the time you get through half of them, they've dried out. So I'm kind of not thrilled with that. Um, I'm going to stop buying the Costco brand because it's just, I don't know, I don't feel like it's worth it anymore just because you buy the box in, in, in retrospect, it does sound like a good deal because you're getting so many for a great price. I think it's like $14.99 for like over 200 or 300 wipes. But when you actually break it down and you get through half of your box, by that point, those wipes have dried out and you're like, what the fuck? Because then you're trying to revive them and it's just not worth it, you know what I mean? So. No, no more Costco wipes, unfortunately. I think I have one more travel in the bathroom I'm trying to use up and then we'll be done with that. Um, what do we got here? Mouthwash. I have a prescriptional mouthwash. This is the Paradox. I get it from my dentist for my gum issues. Um, I have sensitive gums. I find that with old age, it comes with the territory. I floss, I brush my teeth. You know, I do all the, <clears throat> the great stuff. But sometimes your gums as you age just they just get more sensitive. So my dentist prescribes me the Paradox and I have it on repeat um, to keep me comfortable in my oral hygiene skills. Um, next up, I have supplements here. I have the Flora Organic Wheatgrass Tablets. These are fantastic, love them. I've been taking them since November of 2020 and they have changed my hair, skin, nails and internal organ game. Um, you need to do research on this one if you are interested in, in, in taking these. I did a lot of research. I incorporated them for my liver issues. They really helped. And then I just continued taking them for just overall health maintenance. 
and they are amazing. I have repurchased. Keeping in with the supplements, I finished my Life Brand Milk Thistle. This was a herbal blend of milk thistle, dandelion, turmeric. Um, and I did like these. These were these were great. They're from Shoppers Drug Mart. The Life Brand is a Shoppers Drug Mart brand. Um, 60 capsules in a jar. So ideally you could take two and they're 30, they, they last you 30 days, so a month, but um, I would take one a day and they would last me two months. So just a bit longer, stretch it out a bit more. And I find that they really helped my internal, my internal organs. My, my liver went back to normal after being on these from November to March. And my enzyme, my liver enzyme count was way better than it was when I was diagnosed with the fatty liver disease. If you're not sure what was going on with me, I've had a, I posted a health video, a couple videos back, you can check that out. Um, so I did, I did finish this and um, I did, don't keep in mind, all my supplements I've talked to my doctor about, so don't just go and buy them and just take them. Talk to your doctor about them before you go and buy anything like that. Um, but for now, I finished these and I have replaced this with the alpha lipoic acid supplement and that helps break down carbohydrates that are, well, any car carbohydrates, but it's supposed to help the liver especially so that it can filter through and um, detox your liver. Um, and I haven't had an issue with that. So that's that. Now, let me see if I can, uh, let's see if I can get this up here. Okay, stay. Um, I have a shampoo and a conditioner, you guys. So the conditioner is the Mark Anthony Ultimate Moisture Daily Deep Conditioning. Uh, I did not buy this. This came from my brother. He had it. He left it behind when he moved out. He left two conditioners behind. One I already finished, which was the Herbal Essences one. Not a fan of that one. Then there was this one. This was really nice. Um, there's high. There's shea butter and soybean protein in here, and I feel like that's kind of why my hair felt really. Um, smooth uh, was the shea butter. It really helped with smoothness and hydration. So I would consider getting this as a drugstore option for if they still have it. I don't even know if they still have this because this is this is quite old, but it worked nonetheless. I would consider buying that again if I do need a, a drugstore conditioner. Shampoo, the Fructus Garnier Nourish Treat Shampoo. This is the coconut, what is this called? Coconut Extract. Um, there's no silicones, it's to nourish and soften for dry hair. I had tons of dry hair in the winter and I just, I don't know, like, I didn't really find it, I mean, I found it nourishing to a certain extent, but I didn't find it like overly hydrating or anything like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is sulfates in here. Yeah, it's the second ingredient. And, um... They were like, oh, there's silicic acid in here too. What do you know? So I'm actually really impressed that there's silicic acid in here. There is coconut oil as well. Um, but I just, I don't know, man. I was not a fan of this. It just did not make my hair, it wasn't very like, I felt like it really weighed my hair down more than anything and not in a good way. I felt like this was really just weight, like full of weight instead of hydration. I feel like you could have something that's hydrating and not weigh you down at the same time. That's just me. That's what I believe. This is a drugstore option. They say the brand is kind of not so great um, for, you know, being able to keep maintain health, like health hair, like healthy hair, which I don't really believe in that. I feel like if your hair is, if, like there's one, one shampoo that made me lose my hair and that was, that was head and shoulders. But if anything, in regards to the maintenance of your, of your hair health, it comes from inside. You have to be taking the right supplements and eating the right nutrient dense foods in order to change your your hair, your skin, and your nails. For me, when I started taking wheatgrass, it changed my skin, it changed my hair, and it changed the way my nails when they would grow way faster. Um, the shampoo is just an, a mediocre shampoo. That's all it was. If you guys are into that, try it out. For me, I didn't really notice anything majorly different. It wasn't like a blown away type of thing. I would not buy that again. I would, I would definitely not buy that again. So anyways, moving on. I have two shampoos, uh, sorry, two shampoos. I have two hand soaps. They're both Bath & Body Works, Twist & Peppermint, Marshmallow Fireside. I have repurchased. 
um, their, their soaps are great, so I will repurchase in the future as well. So there's that. This bag is going to be full for me to take to the recycling bin. Let's just do this. Let's see what that takes us. Um, body cream. Hmm. Body cream. Um, I finished the Bath of Body Works Frosted Coconut Snowball Body Butter. I wasn't a fan of this. The smell was nice. But their body butters are really hard to rub in. And I find that when you have to work extra hard to rub stuff into your body, you just don't want to put it on. So it really took me a solid two months to finish this for that fact alone. I need, I need a body cream or a body butter that really soaks into the skin as you rub it in very nicely and not having to go over it two or three times to make sure that it's absorbed. So this I would not buy again. It, um, body works body butters are, are really not my, my favorite. And, um, I kind of, to be honest, I stopped buying Bath and Body Works body creams in general, just because I haven't been a fan of their load, like of their body cream textures. And I find that they expire way too fast. So I've been kind of veering away from it now more so. Um, okay, so I have two Biosans squalene retinol um, deluxe size samples. Squalene doesn't work well on my face. I don't know what it is, but my face does not like squalene. Tried it, did not work for me. Um, and I've had retinol before, and retinol on my face, I have never had an issue with. So I knew it was the squalene in here because I've never used squalene in the past. And when I have used it, like in the JLo cream cleanser and there was something else I used squalene in. Oh, the ordinary cleanser had squalene in it too. It would, it would do some re weird funky shit on my face and I was not a fan. So I use these on my feet to keep my feet soft because in quarantine, we don't have a place to go get your nails done. My nails here, I done myself. Like these are me doing my own nails with a drill, a builder gel, a UV light and shellac all by myself. These are, these are nails done by me. Anyways. I use these on my feet. They kept my feet nice and soft. They got rid of any dead skin. I haven't had an issue. This was fantastic for my feet, but I don't know if I would buy this for my feet again. I may consider it if my feet are looking really gnarly and I need something to get them back to a similar normal. I may consider it, but these really did well on my feet. I just can't do it on my face. I will not buy this again anytime soon. Um, getting rid of a hairbrush. It's had its moments, it's time to go. I usually keep a hairbrush up to a year and then I, I, I dispose of it. Uh, we have a Sensodyne toothpaste. Do you guys know Sensodyne is my go-to? I have a Sukin Signature Cream Cleanser. This I found at Walmart. And I was, they were like $12 a bottle. So pretty expensive, I would say, for drugstore. But they're an Australian brand and my skin enjoyed it. I have the foaming, the foaming cleanser in my bathroom now. So I'm using that in the shower. But the this brand is actually pretty good for um, a Walmart accessible brand. So um, if you guys are looking for a new drugstore option, um, the ingredients are not bad. I don't find that they're not that bad. There's um, aloe vera, sesame seed oil, rosehip, cocoa butter, avocado oil, vitamin E oil. Um, there's a little bit of essential oils in here, like lavender oil and vanilla extract, but I, I've never had an issue with it on my skin. I've always, I've always been, um, my skin has worked well with this. It's natural ingredients. They're vegan, Australian made and cruelty free. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I would get it again once I go through more of my face cleansers because I have too many to start with. Another face cleanser I finished, you guys, is the Kate Somerville Exfol um, Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. Um, this guy was like 50 bucks, regular price. I bought it on sale at the Sephora VIP sale. I think it's like, what, 15, 20% off. Um, it worked nicely. Um, I did like it, and I knew I was going to like it because I had a deluxe size sample a couple years back, and my skin loved it. Um, would I buy it again? I don't really, I don't really think I will only because the price point, I'd have to wait every time a sale goes on. It's not really worth it for me. Secondly, um, because this is a mainly sulfur based product, um, it's harder to pair skincare products on top of it after you've used it. So like I go in, I wash my face for the night and then I go in with my skincare products. Um, I find that sulfur doesn't work too well with a lot of different 
products in general um, on me it particularly so I'm gonna steer clear from this in the future it was great while it lasted but I just can't I can't risk it you know like I just I'm not at the point now or just give me something I have to think about to wash my face with and then I can put whatever skincare products I need on top once I'm done washing my face so unfortunately I will not buy that one again um I have deodorant of course repurchase uh, also, Volume 10, Hair Color Developer, repurchased. You guys have seen that in many of my um, videos. <sighs> now I have some masks. I have a couple of the same masks, so we're just going to go through these as best we can without making a disaster. Um, I have the Cream Shop, Tea Tree, and Squalene. So, Tea Tree and Squalene... I was hesitant to use because the squalene does not work well with me. However, when I look at the ingredient list, um, squalene is quite lower on the ingredient deck, so there's not as much squalene in it as the other products that I've tried. The other products that I've tried with squalene, there was a higher dosage of squalene in it. So um, I did, uh, I did use these. They did not irritate me as I, I was hesitant that it would. And that just goes to show the cream uh, Korean face sheet masks are the bomb. They're like amazing because I've never, I've never had an issue with these. Um, so I think my body can tolerate low doses of squalene, just not the higher doses that I was used to in other skincare. But these were great. This one is supposed to relieve redness, antimicrobial properties, and lock in moisture without clogging pores. They were, they were fantastic. The next one I had was the Cream Shop Turmeric and Matcha. This was nice too. Um, it's supposed to be antioxidant, youth promoting, rejuvenation, anti-inflammatory. My skin loved it, didn't have an issue there. Um, then my, I think my, my ultimate favorite one is this one, the Cream Shop Watermelon Kombucha. This one was amazing. Uh, hydrating and oil control, detoxify and brighten. This was my absolute favorite um, from the brand. And then the Cream Shop Witch Hazel. This was a fantastic one as well, so. They all, all my face masks that I used in May, I never had an issue with. I was, and they were also in the cream shop because I get those at Winners. They come like five in a pack for like 15 bucks or like 10 bucks or something like that. It's so worth it. Um, okay, so I have a deluxe size sample of the polypeptide cream from Drunk Elephant. Fantastic summertime moisturizer. I do have a full size. We'll be using that at some point this year. Um, then I have a Peter Thomas, Wa Peter Thomas Roth water drench cream. Have full size of this we'll be using that this year as well it's a great moisturizer um and then my last two products the i have this vitamin c plus anti-aging night cream it's a vitamin c facial cream with dead sea minerals um this was really really thick and nice and hydrating i use this all over my face and my decollete area um and it really did well on my on my skin the scent was very very orange orange-esque um and the ingredients in here weren't that bad like i didn't find anything in here that my skin didn't like um i try to tend to stay away from coconut oil mixed in products because it's not it doesn't agree with my skin um but this um this is an actual product from israel and made in israel it says and it actually worked really well and i feel like it has to do with the dead sea salt in here from the dead sea if you guys don't know what the benefits from the dead sea are go look them up um but I never had an issue with this, and this was was a great moisturizer. I did, in fact, enjoy it. It was thick, but it was very um, comfortable to wear at night, um, and it's made to use for nighttime. So I got this actually at Winners TJ Maxx for like under ten bucks. So if I find it again, I may consider getting it again for the the winter time. I had started that one when the the month the summer months um, the winter months were still you know in play, so it was still a bit cooler at night, and that's why I really did enjoy it. But because now it's starting to get warmer. I'm gonna probably veer from too too thick of a product just to avoid uh, skin clogging from just the humidity and the heat because that's what it can do it too. The last product I finished, you guys, was the Lip Medics by Blistex. This took me so long to finish and like there's a little bit around the edge, but I'm just like I'm calling it done because I'm just at the point where I want a new pot. I'm tired. I'm tired of digging in my finger. This I use every night before bed. Um, yeah, at my beloved's I use my Lip Sleeping Mask by Laniage, but I left that one in there. Um, and I just like using the Medix one. The thing is, is that if I leave the Medix one at my beloved's house, he'll steal it from me. So I leave that one at my house. That way I can actually enjoy it, even though it's drugstore. I can always replace it, but I'm tired of replacing them every freaking two weeks. 
Um, and I leave the, the Laniage one there. So um, he still uses my Laniage one as well, but it's a bigger pot, so um, he won't take it because it's a girly pot. <laughs> Um, but other than that, that was my empties, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned. I do have a couple of reviews coming up. I'm starting to slowly get back into wearing makeup more and more now. Um, it was just, you know, one of those things where being quarantined and I was busy with work, I didn't really have too much time. I still am working full time, so that's good. Um, but I'm trying to do things more to lift my spirits up. And part of that is doing my makeup to make me kind of, you know, just kind of brighten up my spirit a bit. But stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys um, enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down below um, what you guys have been up to, if you've tried any of these products or what you're interested in trying next. Love you.